the moment has arrived with much anticipation fountain blue has finally opened i remember even myself watching this casino being built for what 14 or so years um should have been open i think in what 2008 2009 or so so it is finally open we're gonna have a quick little walk around give you guys a little tour show you what's going on in there get the players cards you know the drill let's go check out fountain blue That art exhibit back there will actually emulate tides from all over the world. I did try to see because it's supposed to tell you which one it is. Unfortunately, it looks like it's already been broken, so it doesn't say which one it is currently. But uh, yeah, still pretty cool to see. First observation of Fontainebleau, it smells amazing in here. That's the first thing I noticed when I walked in. It's just full of these rich blue colors with these accents of like silvers and whites and just really nice tones. There's also little bow ties kind of all over the place, which is nice little, you know, nod to their uh, logo and everything. It's just a really cool vibe in here so far. So on this level, you have their uh, poppy steak as well as their blue live theater. Uh, the next level up is where the pool is, which unfortunately is closed right now. I mean, we are, at least at the time of recording this, we are here in January, so makes sense we are walking now to what appears to be a little food hall so first as you walk in there's like a bagel place over there you've got capons which has like burgers ice cream etc roadside tacos which has you guessed it tacos uh miami slice as well which has some uh really interesting looking pizzas you've also got nona which has some like italian type sandwiches you've got komodo obviously asian food uh what else you got there you've got uh break which looks like it's like pastries and sandwiches there's a decent little selection in here not bad at all and right now it's not too busy i know opening this place was jam can't forget burrito behind me here which has like rolls like sushi rolls sushi bowls things like that all right so i couldn't resist getting a fish taco i feel like i've been living on pizza all week i was tempted to get a miami slice but uh maybe i still will because i only got one fish taco it was nine dollars um and obviously with tip and everything it came to about 11 50 so a little expensive for one little taco, but uh, it looks really good. I mean, it's gonna be a, a cod taco with um, jalapeno aioli and like coleslaw, everything. Anyway, let's give this a, a quick bite. Okay. Well, oh. it is really good. Um, Eleven fifty, good. It's debatable but uh, it is really good. Cody got himself a meatball sub. Sandwich with panini. Meatball sandwich, meatball panini, let's say, from Nona's with what's in there? Marinara. Oh, with a side of marinara. Okay, so the presentation's really cute. You wanna open that? Look at that. So there's his meatball sub. Again, it doesn't look very big, but how much is this? 20 bucks. 20 bucks for this. With tip. Yeah, with tip. I mean, you can see my hands, sort of the size and everything. It's not the biggest, but you got this little cup of marinara anyway. You're gonna have to give it a, a sample for us, Cody. Let us know how it is. I'm not a, a meatball guy, as you all know. All right, we gotta dip it in the sauce. What do we think? It's really good. It smells really good. Is it 25 or whatever dollars good? No, I'd want to pay less, but it's still delicious. It's Vegas, baby. Okay, so is this really worth it. I mean, you're paying strip prices. I gotta be honest with you, my batter cod, it was a little bit cold and the sauce was a little bit too much sauce. Like, it was, I'm, I'm a saucy guy too, but it was almost like too much sauce. Anyway, we're gonna finish these up. We're gonna explore some more. We might get another snack. I'm still tempted to grab something from Miami Slice. We'll see how I feel. So in the shopping area here, uh, what do they call it? I don't know. Anyway, they it's it still looks a little bit unfinished. I mean, there's a lot of stores, a lot of storefronts that are just still plastered up with billboards and stuff. At least they did that to make it look nice, but it still looks very much unfinished. And this is also like the second floor overlooking the casino. As I say, it looks really nice, but there's still 
still very much unfinished. The fitness center and the spa do seem to be open, but there's like an IV drip lounge that's gonna be opening soon. Those are, those are kind of cool. I've never done one of those before, but uh, we are seeing them popping up a little more on the strip. Okay, the layout is interesting. We ended up in the Moonstone area, which I believe is like a, a meeting room. It kind of just leads to like a bit of a dead end. Um, I don't know. I would have thought it would kind of looped around in like a circle, but yeah, we're basically at a dead end right now. I will say, I saw the grand opening videos and this place was packed. Looking around now, it does seem very quiet right now. No, it is Saturday night right now in Las Vegas. Again, we are in January. It's a quieter time in Vegas, but still it's Saturday night and the place is looking a little bit quiet. Let's keep exploring. Yeah, I just literally saw someone do the exact same mistake we did and came all the way down here. Only to find out that there's nothing here. Moonstone 1 and Moonstone 2, which I believe are just meeting spaces. Okay, I've been here for two seconds. Another couple just did the exact same thing. I definitely think they need more signage or something so people just stop coming down this way because there's nothing to see. I was just gonna say probably one of the first weddings at Fontainebleau and Cody says maybe it's a fake wedding. I don't know now. I don't know, maybe it's just for promotions. I have no idea, but I'm gonna say probably one of the first weddings in here. This is probably one of the, also the nicest lobbies I've seen in a hotel probably ever. It's absolutely gorgeous. The lighting, the fresh roses in the center. The branding is really on point too. All the golds, all like the bow ties kind of everywhere. It's just, yeah, it's the attention to detail is definitely there. All right, so a couple things I want to mention. We played uh, one of my invaders of the Planet Moolah games for probably an hour, maybe even more on the same $100. I find the machines here are a little bit on the looser side. I don't know if that's like a new casino thing. I find that does happen sometimes when somewhere opens and it's new and everything. I do find the machines can be a little bit more loose, uh, which is nice. Um, the drinks are very plentiful here as well. So uh, usually I'm sitting there waiting forever for a drink. Um, our drink girl, I can't remember her name. She was phenomenal. Like I usually have said, sat there waiting forever. I think she must have walked by three or four times when I was still on my first drink. So you know, make sure that we were okay and everything. Uh, got us some decent tequila. It, she, she said it was Altos. She said it was a good one. I looked up Altos. It doesn't seem like it's that great of a tequila, but it was okay. It did it did the job. It did what needs to be did. Um, the other thing is the uh, the matching. So from what I understood, uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, Miles to Memory, it's another another uh, YouTube channel on uh, well, on YouTube. Um, they mentioned that they were doing status matching only on opening day. Now we did think, well, let's try, let's try our luck a little bit. So uh, we got the cards, went to the uh, rewards desk, got new cards. Unfortunately, they said that they couldn't match to our um, other statuses. We spoke to uh, then to a casino host, which was what was recommended to us, and they gave us gold, no problem. So we do have platinum with MGM and uh, diamond with Caesars and a few other statuses there. So uh, we were able to match that, no problem. So we do have that. Also, if you are setting up for a new card, this could change. I believe once you hit 15 points on your machine, you'll get, what is it, $15? 15. And then you need to hit another 500 points to get to the next size, which we did not do. I thought it was lower than that. We did not do that. Anyway, we are going to play around a little bit more, I think. Um, yeah, I found the machine just to be pretty good. I got a lot of bonuses. It was doing really well at first, and then I ended up losing it all, unfortunately. But that's my own stupidity. Anyways, uh, we're going to walk around a little bit more, do some exploring. So far, I'm really liking Fountain Blue. Um, yeah, let's check with you in a bit. All right, so just getting ready to leave Fountain Blue and head back to our hotel. We have a show to catch tonight, so uh, gotta get going, unfortunately. I guess final thoughts would be, this is a great soft launch, I would say. It doesn't feel fully open, is what it comes down to. I mean, you can see not all the restaurants are open. You can see not all of the stores are open. Um, the pool's not open. There's a lot that isn't quite open yet. It did seem like they tried to maybe 
they had a deadline in mind and really, really wanted to hit that deadline. So no shame in the game. It looks phenomenal in here. I mean, like I said at the beginning of this, I've been watching this place being built. Well, not even being built. I've been watching this place sitting here stagnant for me personally for, you know, 14 years of me coming to Vegas. So I can only imagine what some other people have seen, uh, you know, in their time in, uh, in, on the strip, watching this place being built then not being built, then being built, then not being built, and back and forth and back and forth anyway. So it's really awesome to see something new. I'm excited about it. There's a lot of potential here for sure. I think the one detriment is always gonna be that's location. I mean, you're across the street from Circus Circus. You're near sort of Sahara and um, the Strat, which aren't necessarily in the best neighborhoods being so close to Naked City. So I do think that's gonna be a little bit of the detriment. That said, once more does open in between, I think you are gonna have a lot of potential here I, it almost feels like another i don't want to say cosmopolitan but it almost feels like maybe like if you've been to atlantic city if you've seen ocean casino somewhere like that where it's very classy very trendy yeah i don't know i see potential here and i'm excited about it and we're definitely gonna be back especially now that they give us status we definitely have to come back because apparently we both have like 150 bucks to spend on like food and whatnot so as mentioned go and see a host if you do have status at other casinos um that's you know one huge recommendation there's only so much power that the people at the rewards desk have so do your best to you know try and speak to somebody who maybe has a bit more power has a bit more you know pull can can do a little something for you it doesn't hurt i know for us i mean we sat there playing for quite a while today just because they did give us status they gave us some freebies here and there so we probably played more than we would maybe have at other places uh, again fun casino fun atmosphere really excited to see what's going to come at fountain blue in the future um anyway if you found this all helpful please hit consider hitting that uh, like button please consider subscribing to the channel of course if you are not subscribed the button is just in the corner there completely free for you helps me keep living this free content to you any questions at all i mean again we only explored this place for a couple hours so still probably more to be seen but if you have any questions any you know thing you'd like to know that maybe i've missed do not hesitate to leave that below obviously it's helpful to other you know travelers as well who may have the same questions as you helpful to me to you know remember what content to put in future videos it's also really helpful for the algorithm any interaction you have with my videos whether you're liking commenting subscribing sharing etc would be a huge help to the algorithm huge help to this channel and uh yeah i really appreciate it anyway once again this has been daniel spotlight viva las vegas welcome fountain blue to the las vegas trip and we'll see you in the next one Bye.